artificial neural network. This is mainly three parts. One is network architecture, second is learning rule, and third is activation function. Network architectures are the synaptic waves and its interconnection. And learning rules are the training or learning rules adopted for updating and adjusting the connection waves. Learning means we explain by learning that once we, once we know something, the experience is taken, this experience is recorded somewhere and next time when the same thing is happening, my ex from my prior experience, I can have a better, a better solution for it. So, my learning rules are always adopted for updating and adjusting the connecting weight. That is once I have passed through, when I know I have touched a candle which is having a flame, so next time I see that candle and again I want to touch, I am not going to touch it because my prior experience from my brain says that this is going to hurt you so it is not required to be touched. So this experience, this is what is, I have experience, I put together it somewhere. Whenever next time same thing happens, my system is going to take it from that place and stored program <coughs> and the stored program is going to execute the result, response in fact. So in fact, instead, in fact prior to my going to the hand to my flame, my response is not to touch it. So this gives the more efficiency, that is the amount of work I have to do to put my hand towards the flame and then take it back, it is taken care of that it should not going to be done at all. Now the activation functions are various kind of functions required to put the neural network in order to get the desired output. Now neural uh, network architecture, what is a network architecture? The arrangement of neurons to form, layer and connection pattern formed within and between layers is called network architecture. So you can see that the network architecture here these are I1, I2, I, N, R, all your inputs. These W1, W2, N, all these are network weight. This is going to the neuron which is having this activation function W, I into W, J is equal to summation and X. So this is going to be getting the output P which is coming as output. Now if I can take my output back, I will call this as a feedback. Feed forward means when I take input and go to the output and the output is ultimate. When I say feedback that will be means I take an output, I recycle it again and then in the next time recycled output is going to give me the actual result. This is called feedback. Now there are five kind of network architecture. First is single layer feed forward architecture. That is there is one layer, one is input layer, next is neuron, third next is output. That is single layer. Next is multi layer feed forward. That is the first neuron layer. Then there is another layer of neuron. This means the second layer is taking input from the <coughs> first neuron and output is given to the <coughs> output layer. Then single node with its own feedback. That is one node is there and it is taking its own feedback. That is the example here. This is called single node feed forward. There is only one node. This is one node. All the inputs are given to this. And this is going to give the feedback. Then single layer concurrent network. Single layer recurrent network, multi layer recurrent. Recurrent means when I have two, three layers and they are taking feedback to each other, that is called the single, multi layer or single layer recurrent network. Then learning of artificial in neural network. Learning is a process means by which a neural network adapts itself to a stimulus by adjusting weights resulting in desired output using prior experience. Next is the unsupervised learning that is we have categories of learning in artificial neural network. First is unsupervised learning, next is supervised learning, third is reinforcement learning. Unsupervised learning, this is the learning where I have an X input, it is going to my neural network, it is giving me an output. So if I have to come back here, it is called feedback, feedback unsupervised learning. Next is supervised learning. Now supervised learning has what? This is your input, this is your neural network, this is your actual output. But I have some desired output. 
if my desired output is not the same as actual output, what I need is I need to have an error signal which is giving the value d minus y signals, which is again going back to the neural network. And I am going to, so ultimately, until and unless I get my desired output, my cycle is continuously going to neural network. This is called supervised learning. Supervised means there is a teacher, say D is the teacher who is going to tell me what results I want, and I have an error, so I need to make it perfect. Then reinforcement learning. That is, there is an X input, there is a neural network. It is going to get an actual output, but there is a reinforcement means I want an outcome, this particular outcome. So desired, in desired, we have an error, so I will give an error signal and I will take it back. In reinforcement, I want this particular value. If this particular value is not achieved, I am going to take an error signal, put it back to the neural network and give the result. So outcome is only the desired one, only the outcome, this reinforcement learning is outcome based. Now you can see when we will discuss all these things and separately in each another lecture where supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Prior to that you can also see many of the slides present uh, in many of the, in fact in the internet you can see many of the little dog robots are there who has used reinforcement learning methodology to use. Like a dog, a, a little a dog kind of thing is work, walking. How to walk and that walking in that walking it is taking its legs and that particular robot is way it's functioning is it is taking its leg first all four legs together then taking one leg then next then it is it can learn that it is going to take a place where it is going to come down so it has to take first sense it then it will take first leg then second leg all these things are in the web you can take it you can see the output also. The activation function. To obtain desired output, some activation is required. The activation function is applied over the net input to calculate the output of artificial neural network. So there are various kind of activation functions. The category of activation functions are identity function, that is f net equal to net, then threshold function or a step function, then sigmoid function or s shape function, then signum function that is sine function and then ramp function. Now take each and every, this is identity function that is fx equal to x that is your sig identity function. Then next is your step function that is you can see this is first step and this is the second step. So there is a, this is called, this is called threshold point. Next is sigmoid function. So you can get this result sigmoid, s step function. So these are the functions I use for the neural network. Then there is a ramp function. This is your ramp function. Then, neural network applications. Now in signature, as mechanism for comprising signatures made with those two, this is one of the first large scale applications. Now you can see, in process control, there are clearly applications to be made here. Most processes cannot be determined as a computable algorithm in learning. I'll you can see, I'll take the pointers. See here, you have this one. There are clear applications to be made for most the network have been used to monitor the state of aircraft engine and British Rail. These are the other examples. Like this is your British Rail. Here you use another aircraft engine. So have testing a similar application monitoring diesel engines. These are the examples of your neural app network applications. Then, in PC, pen PC, here we can, one can write on a tablet and writing can be recognized by the trans, and recognized and translated by ASCII text. Then the speech and visual recognition system, that is increasing number of neural network pro projects are done on this. They use the components in conjunction of traditional computers. 
So speech recognition system, vision recognition system, you have already heard there are many. So this you can take out from the internet and get the different examples.